If your team is connected online, then you absolutely need an online notice board. Digital notice boards or bulletin boards keep teams focused and up to date. So hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and follow me in this video to create your custom digital notice board. Start with this ready to customize template, search for bulletin in the templates gallery or find the template link in the description below. As you can see in the template, there are two menus, one for your audience and the other only accessible by the admin. I'll show you how to manage access to these pages later in this video, but now let's go through how the app works. The bulletin board menu has a page for daily news that shows the news gallery. Also, there's a form for your audience to submit the news. So when someone submits a news post, it will be visible in the All Submitted News table. Then the admin can review it and approve or reject it. There's also a Kanban view for all the news posts so you can review the accepted and rejected news post. Okay, let's see how you can customize the bulletin board app. Inside the folder, you can see all formulas related to your bulletin board. When your app is ready, you can edit it and its database. This is the new submit form and you can view it by right-clicking on it and choosing view. And you can edit it by right-clicking on it and choosing the edit option. Here on the left you have various field types and you can add them to your form by dragging and dropping into the right view section. For example, let's say you want to add a video in your form so the user can play it there. You can use the video field type and paste the YouTube or Vimeo link in the URL property. To change the look of your form, go to Design tab. You can also get an email notification when someone submits a news post. Go to the Notifications tab and enable the notification email option. Enter your email address and save. You can also forward a copy to other staff members by putting their email address in the forward box. You should enter a space after putting the email there to save it in the forward box. All right, now let's submit a news post and see the flow. Now in the all submitted news page, you can see the new row we just submitted. It also exists in the uncategorized column in the news by status page. And if you go to the daily news page, which is visible to the users, you can see the news post there. But let's say you don't want to show news unless they are approved by an admin. To do so, edit the app and from the Customize Cards button above our cards, select the Show the Status field. It will show the status of all news posts here. Now let's filter the view to only show the accepted news posts. Click Accepted Tags and Save Changes. Awesome, it's now filtered to only show the accepted news posts. Let's preview the app to see how it looks to the public. On the left menu of your app, choose App Settings and turn on the public view of your form. Save Changes and click the Apps link. As you can see, it's showing all pages and their data. Now let's restrict access to the pages so only the admins can see the submitted news posts in the second menu. On your Apps menu in the Admin, choose App Settings and enable the portal mode. Portal apps give you the possibility to restrict access to some pages for some users. Save everything and close the pop-up window. Now you'll see the Users option show up on the left menu. Open it and enable the portal here too. Now it's time to create a Users table to store the data of your app's users. Click on the New Table button to create a new Users table for your portal. Also enable the Allow New Users to Sign Up option so your users can sign up at your bulletin board. Okay, now let's restrict access to our admin pages. Edit the app and open the All Submitted News page. Click on the Settings button at the top right side of the page and change the visibility of the page to specific team access levels. Then choose Admin. This way, only people who are the app's admin can access the page. You can do the same for all pages that need to be accessible only for specific people. Now let's save changes and see the public view of our app. Now click on the Public View button in the Apps menu to see the app's public view. As you can see, the page isn't visible anymore. Also, there are login and sign up buttons on the app so the users can sign up for the bulletin board. Digital bulletin boards allow you and your team to stay up to date with the latest news and updates of your organization. You can grab its template at the link below this video and start customizing. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Happy formulaing! Bye!